Hi guys, it's Maya and I'm back with another edition of a car boot sale haul. I've been quite a few times since my last one and boy, have I had some bargains. This haul does include quite a few high-end makeup items which I am very excited about. But looking at my selection here, there is a lot more different stuff. Wow, different stuff. How big can you get? <laughs> this time I've got a wider variation of things that I have bought, but they're all kind of on the girly beauty, all of that stuff. I've got a bit of skincare, got a bit of hair care, and quite a bit of fashion. Maya has a fashion sense? I've also been prepared and I've totaled up the amount I spent and the amount that it should cost in shops, and man, I don't think there's another episode in this series where I've saved as much money as I have now. It's a banger today. Should we just get stuck in? Let's get straight into it. The first thing I'm picking up, I got a full bottle of the L'Oreal Paris Skin Perfection 3-in-1 Purifying Micellar Solution. My word, that is a long name. Oh my god, <laughs> it's bubbling everywhere. <laughs> what do I do? Well, I can definitely tell someone hasn't filled the bottle with just water. That is... <laughs> And I've just splashed it on my face. Oh, by the way, I got some henna this morning. How freaking pretty. My psychology teacher's daughter, Nikita, did this on me. I love it. My voice went weird. I'm getting off track again. Okay, this is RRP £4. But for this whole bottle, I just paid £1. Really nice as just a little backup or something to travel with. Lovely jubbly. The next thing I picked up, which is actually a really, really good seal, and I'm surprised it was at a car boot sale anyway, especially seeing as it's never been used, I got a Clinique Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Crimson, and it's also a limited edition, like cute packaging. As I said before, when I got this, it was completely new. It hadn't even been used. It looked like it had never been touched. But you all know me. You know I can't resist using something when I get it. <laughs> a good steal for Maya. The price for this lipstick is £18.50. Lordy. And I got it for 50p. Can't go wrong for Clinique lipstick for 50p. I think you're gonna notice a trend of Clinique products in this video. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love Clinique. <laughs> I also picked up the Clinique All About Lips. It says this is a treatment for lips, smooths and deflakes, helps lip colour last. So I picked this up and just this bottle, it is sold for £20. And once again, like the lipstick, I paid 50p for this. I got another Clinique thing. <laughs> this big ass tub is the Sparkle Skin Body Exfoliating Cream. 250ml, which is a lot, a lot of cream. Oh my god, that's wet. That is soaking wet. <laughs> it's been in the shower. I feel like I've got deja vu because like I said before, it wasn't used when I picked it up. Now it is. <laughs> This is RRP £30. Yikes, but I paid a pound for this. It's leaking all over my hands because it's been in the shower and now I'm soaking. £29 saving on smooth legs, hell yeah. I think next I'm gonna show you the few hair things I got because it's really good for me because I normally do absolutely nothing with my hair. I brush it and leave. Like what you're seeing now, I haven't straightened this or anything, it's literally brushed. <laughs> so I'm expanding what I do a little bit and the first thing into taking a better step with my hair is I picked up the Glad Hair Day Shampoo by Soap & Glory. As you all know, I'm a cheapskate and I consider Soap & Glory to be quite expensive. So I've never really thought to go on Boots and pick it up myself but when I saw it at the car boot sale, I had to go for it. Oh my God, I just forgot. This is in a bundle, okay, it's with something else. So this shampoo in shops is £5.50. Very, very excited for this one. I paired it up in a bundle with the number five Chanel perfume. As you can tell, there's really, really not much left in the bottle, but even if I just wanted it for decoration, it's so cute. And as you can see, there actually is product still left in the bottle. It might not be much, but it's still enough to like save for special occasions. And I reckon the amount that's still in the bottle comes to about £7. So these two together comes to RRP about £12.50 and I paid £1.50. Gotta love it guys, gotta love it. Next hair thing, I'm ridiculously, ridiculously excited for this. I only went and got a Tangle Teaser. Don't ask why I get so excited over Tangle Teasers, but just since I was about 12 years old, I wanted to own a Tangle Teaser. But for one of these, it's RRP £6.80. And little Maya wasn't gonna fork out £6.80 on a hairbrush. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up because it's a pound. Never been used either, still in packaging, so buzzing. Okay, I'm realizing now I'm getting a lot more hair things than I thought I did. <laughs> Next hair thing, I picked up a Batiste dry shampoo. I bet you all had a suspicion that I love these because I'm lazy as hell and hate going in the shower. <laughs> this isn't the normal size bottle, this is the big ass bottle. And it is in the shade Tropical. Can you open please? There, there we go. I'm not complaining, I want my skull to smell like coconut. 
Um, the price for this in Boots and Super Drug and all of that is £5, you know, because it's the big one. But I paid 50p for this. Hooray for laziness! <laughs> Don't panic, we're nearly done with all the hair things. Okay, next thing I got, the Remington Curl Create Wand. If you're up to date with my videos, I think you've seen me with curly hair once. Funnily enough, it was actually in a car boot sale haul. I dare you to try and find which video I have curly hair in and then comment it. So I pick these up. These are RRP. Wait, what, mate? £18, and I paid £3 for them. They'd only been used once, the woman said. Hooray! But then after I bought this, I bought another thing. More curlers. <laughs> What's my life? This is the Diva Big Hot Wand, and the thing is, I like the brand Diva because it's what my hair salon uses. So even though I already bought that one, I was like, can I have this? <laughs> For this, it is RRP 40 pounds, which is quite a bit more expensive than that one, and I bet a lot more quality. A lot more quality, that makes no sense. A lot better quality. And I paid two pounds for these, so less than the Remington ones, actually. But yes, massive savings, and I now have a good Diva hair curling wand. Maya, what are you doing? <laughs> Nice little demonstration for you there. Now I'm gonna go on to the few little fashion bits I got and then the makeup at the end. First thing I got is a cap. Look like a road man. <laughs> this is an Ivy Park cap from Topshop. I was in need of a cap for when I go to Peru because it's gonna be sunny and I don't wanna get burnt. So I thought, why not? This is 15 pounds. And I asked how much and I got it for two pounds. The only thing is, after I got it, I tried it on and it fits really weirdly. Like the shape of this cup is not how anyone's head normally is. <laughs> Force it on! Next things I got, it's amazing, become a staple for me and this is a happy girl. I got a pair of black high top converses. I've never owned black ones and I've always wanted to so now I feel like an American high school person. Yay! <laughs> These are size four which is my size so they fit perfectly. They're not worn very much so it won't affect my feet that much. These are RRP 50 pounds and I know that might seem a bit expensive but I just love converse so it's well worth it. I got these for two pounds. Hell yeah, I can't this for two pounds. I've been wearing these every single day, but the only downside is that they fart. Like my, my feet get sweaty very easily and then they fart. The shoes fart, yeah. <laughs> I also got some Nike leggings. I, it feels weird me saying Nike because I always said Nike. These are just some fancy, pretty normal kind of gym leggings. My other girl who never wears exercise owns copious amounts of gym clothes. <laughs> For real though, I think they're really comfy and I will take them to Peru when it's hot. These are in size medium, they fit literally perfectly and these are RRP. £27 but Nike is a really good kind of sports brand so I can understand it. And I only paid £2 so it's a great steal and comfy as hell when I'm lazy. The last fashion piece I picked up, whoa mama, I'm I'm, 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 I'm excited. <laughs> These are a pair of Topshop mom jeans. Topshop jeans are normally just a distant look into the future because God, they're expensive. These are sold in shops for 40 pounds. Whoa, but I paid four pounds. So 10 times less. Yay, mass. <laughs> I know I've already showed you a few makeup bits with the lipstick and the lip treatment and everything, but now is the majority of the makeup I got. First thing is the Estee Lauder Enlighten EE Cream. And to be fair, I'm not keen on it. It's meant to be kind of like a BB cream foundation-y type thing, but I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. This is sold at Estee Lauder for £35. Whoa, mama. And I paid £3 for it. I might give it to one of my friends or something, but yeah, £3, which is still good for something worth that much. I got another foundation type product because I'm a bit of an addict. I got the Body Shop All-in-One BB Cream. Not realizing this is in shade two, which is too dark for me. <sighs> I'm going to Spain very soon, though by the time you're watching this, the vlog should start going up on either Tuesday or Wednesday. So keep a look out for them and make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel, but hopefully I might be getting a tan then, so I might keep it to see if it works then. This is RRP 12 pounds, which is quite a lot, but I paid 50p. Another bit of Estee Lauder, I got the Double Wear Concealer. It's kind of got the same concept as the Benefit Boing Concealer. It's like a heavy duty kind of thick concealer and I've been using this and honestly like I love it. It is worth £22.50 and for this I paid £2 which I'm really happy about and it's a massive massive saving. Boom another product I got the Smashbox cream liner in the shade graphite. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued because I couldn't find it on the website. From the little bit of research I did, I think this was about £14 when it was still being sold and I bought it for 20p. Next up, I actually got a makeup sponge. 
Yeah. This is the Dior Backstage Blender Makeup Sponge. I have used this quite a bit since I got it and honestly, not my favorite. This is sold for 12 pounds at Dior, which is cheaper than a beauty blender, I suppose. And I paid a pound for this, so at least I've got like a backup makeup sponge. More onto the very, very last thing, but it's very good. I actually got eight Lush Bath Bombs, eight. You've probably never heard of half those bath bombs because they expired in 2008. They're pretty out of date, but honestly, your girl doesn't mind. I'm still gonna use them. And no, I'm not gonna die if you think I'm gonna die. I kind of totaled these up to be about four pounds each, which means all of those bath bombs come to around RRP 24 pounds, and I paid two pounds. Whoop! And that is it. Oh, if you didn't know, I have a full playlist of car boot sale hauls. It's not just this one, I have tons. The link to that playlist so you can go on a cheeky binge watch of all my car boot sale hauls is in the description. As always, make sure to comment what the best thing you have got it, like a charity sale, a flea market or a car boot sale or anything like that. What's your best deal? I would love to know. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, my vlog channel, like this video, all that jazz, and I will love you forever. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. OMG, it's Maya, she has sorted out a certain attire With makeup moments, lifestyle too, you'll never get bored OMG, it's Maya